Most of us guitarists hit a point in our playing where we feel like we're locked in a box. And for months, maybe even years, we feel like we've made no progress. Today we'll be discussing one exercise that once mastered will forever change your playing. And you'll be freed with the ability to flow across the fretboard endlessly. <laughs> There's a great book by Mick Goodrick, which covers tons of very beneficial guitar-related information. And in fact, the book, The Advancing Guitarist, on the very first page, talks about what we're going to be covering today. Let me read to you what he says. Any guitarist who has played at all seriously knows that position playing is very important. Also, position playing is a huge project. Lots of stuff to learn, years of work involved. I think we can agree on this point. The point that I'm trying to make, which may be one of the most important points in this book, is that position playing is not even half of it, probably not even a third of it. Equally as important as position playing is playing up and down one string. I'd even go as far to say that it's more important than position playing, just because it's seldom explored. In addition, I might add that standardized methods for position playing have been in existence for some time whereas methods for playing up and down one string are practically non-existent, at least in the West. Basically, what he is saying is that we all learn guitar in a very positional manner. I refer to this as vertical shapes. He says understanding the positional shapes is extremely important, but it's a huge endeavor and may take years to master. And many of us are worse off. We've been playing for years and years and still are stuck in one position, Mainly the first pentatonic position, something like this. So today we're going to change that by mastering the fretboard in what I call a horizontal way or just up and down one string. So instead of looking at the guitar vertically like this, we're going to see the guitar more like this. If you want to have for today's lesson and also some bonus exercises going along with this concept, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of lessons coming over all kinds of different things like theory, licks, technique. So if you're interested, go check that out. <laughs> Now for today, I'm just going to be an A minor, C major, same thing, um, focusing mainly on the high E string and later on might get to the B string as well, but we're just focusing that on that. But what I want you to do is take the same concept and move it across all six strings. The reason I'm not doing today is I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. So we're just going to show the concepts on one or two strings, and then you guys take that information and use it all over each string. The first thing we're going to do is take the A minor pentatonic scale and just walk up it with one finger just to see how it looks on one string. Followed by that, we're going to look at the A minor scale or C major scale and do it the same way just so we can visualize how it looks on the fretboard. We'll start off with a pentatonic. The lowest possible note of the A minor pentatonic scale is actually going to be the open E. Followed by the third fret G note. Then we're gonna hit our root note, the fifth fret. That's our A note for A minor pentatonic. Followed by C on the eighth fret, D on the 10th fret. And then now we're right back to the E note, 12th fret, it's the same exact thing as that. And now we're just gonna follow the same pattern again, but up past the 12th fret. Keep in mind the 12th fret is basically a mirror. So the nut to 11th fret is mirrored when you hit the 12th fret up. So all the dots are in the same alignment, all the notes are the same, all the shapes are the same. So you really only have to learn 11 frets of the guitar and then just practice visualizing it up here. It's not really anything new happening. So E note, 15 our G note, and then our root on the 17th fret. And then we can go up to, what is it, 20, 
I should say 20, I think. It's our C note, and then 22 is our D note. So that is gonna be A minor pentatonic on the high E. And I would just walk up and down just like that. This is not shredding, these are not licks. We're just understanding the fretboard. And I'd highly recommend you go through each and every string and do the same exact thing, familiarizing yourself with the scale in this fashion. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the A minor scale. So we're gonna do the same thing. The lowest note is the open E. Then it's gonna be F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. <laughs> so what that is is open, first fret, then third fret, fifth fret, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20, 22. Right, and like I said, the notes are in this case E F G A B C D E F G A B C D. So you can walk up and down that. Just going. Familiarize yourself with that on all six strings. <laughs> Now what we're gonna do is take the same exact shape we went over, but actually it's gonna be a little bit more practical and this actually could be used as a lick, but also a way of practicing actually using this in your playing. So you know something like this with the pentatonic scale. So that was a pentatonic scale. We're just going through each shape in this kind of two finger format. So we have five, eight, eight, 10, 10, 12, 10, 15, 15, 17, and then 17, 20. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick, hammer, pull off, slide. So that's five, eight, five, slide, eight, 10, eight, slide, 10, 12, 10, slide, 12, 15, 12, 15, 17, 15, slide to 17, 17, 20, 17. Here we go. Same exact notes what we were doing a second ago when we went like this. Same exact thing, we're just isolating them in two finger groups. And doing this hammer on pull off slide pattern. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing with the A minor scale. It's gonna look like this. So again, we're taking the same notes that we just went over that looks like this. But we're doing it in this hammer on pull off fashion. So we're going five, hammer seven, hammer eight, pull off back down to five, so seven, five. Slide to the next shape, just seventh fret. So we got seven, eight, ten, back down to eight, seven. Slide to eight. We got eight, ten, twelve, ten, eight. That goes up to ten. And then we're gonna hammer twelve, thirteen, back down, twelve, ten. Slide up to twelve. Then we're gonna hammer thirteen, fifteen, thirteen, twelve. Slide up to 13, we got 13, 15, 17, 15, 13. Then we slide up to 15 with our first finger, we got 15, 17, 19, 17, 15. Slide up to 17, we got 17, 19, 20, 
1917. So all together. All right, so let's do a quick recap of all the different patterns. Mastering these is gonna open up the fretboard in incredible ways for you. Today I'm just demonstrating it on the high E, but this must be done on all strings all over the fretboard. First, we have the A minor pentatonic scale, just played kind of like this. Followed by the A minor scale. Then we have the hammer on pull off exercise, starting with the pentatonic, looks like this. Followed by the major scale or minor scale, whatever way you want to look at it. All right, I hope you got a lot out of today's lesson. If you haven't already, I would recommend checking out this book right here. Um, a lot of great stuff in there to learn and study and different exercises to practice. I know a lot of guitar players that have looked over that book and got such beneficial information from it. All right, with that said, I'll see you guys back next time. Yeah.